All right. Um, oh, crap. Is my, yeah, my mic's working. Cool. So this is a little video um, for Super Vaporeon and for Special, I think. Um, both of you were uh, was having an argument with about these little clumps right here, the metallurgy clumps. Um, as Super Vaporeon pointed out, um, he did the testing like this. And of course you get the clump back. That's not at all what I was testing. This right here is what I'm testing. If you take a cauldron and you surround it by four blocks of lava on either side, as you can see here, if we place the clump on top and we break it, we get the clump back, of course. That makes absolute sense. Now, if we take the clump and we place it here, we are not going to get this clump back. Um, watch. If we break it, the clump does not return. As you can see, there is no drop. And if you're concerned about the actual clump falling into the lava here, we're going to go ahead and we'll cover this up. Now, there should be no way for the clump to fall into the lava here. And just to prove this, uh, we're going to test it out with this block here, as you can see. When we place it, we get our drop back. However, if we take the clump and we place it there, and now we break it, we still have no drop. And as you can see, we are empty. We're losing clumps this way. Um, I lost a full stack testing this out. Um, I'm not sure what to do about it. I'm not sure if it's a bug or if this is another hint further into how metallurgy works. But this was the process that I was testing and I just wanted to show you two guys to make sure that you know what I'm talking about. So thank you for watching and I will see you guys later.